Welcome to this episode, which is about your drummer. You know that if you build these, if you ever learn how to play one at all, and if you ever think about going out in public and playing one, you're probably going to need a drummer, somebody to keep beat for you. But face it, nobody's going to want to go in public with you, especially when you first start off. So you got to have your own drummer, and it's called your foot. And so today's episode is about how to build a drummer or a stomp box. Now, I'm going to show you how to build one of these out of a simple box, show you a couple I have. It's a really easy project uh, you can put together in a few minutes, and it's going to give you the accompaniment you need. So let's go to the workbench. All right, before we get to building our stomp box, I'm going to show you a couple of things. First off, I got my Roland MicroCube uh, battery operated amplifier. It'll plug into the wall. It's got a bunch of presets. It's perfect for playing on the street. And uh, I've got uh, this stomp box that I built here out of a cigar box. And I've got this one here is a little bit bigger, but it's built out of a box and a license plate. And then I've got my wireless pickups that will plug each one of these in. And of course, I got my Other Turner Goat Picnic style bass drum beater. And we'll have a listen to these. So the first one here is just a box I built. I put these handles on it. It's easier to carry around that way. Um, and I'm going to show you a little trick that you can use these handles for to kind of protect controls on the one we're building. But this is a 1960 license plate from Wisconsin uh, where I grew up. So this plate's as old as I am. Now this one comes apart real easy. Got a few screws in the back. Um, but when we look inside, it's just real basic. It's got two piezos wired to each other to a jack and that's it. All right, put the bottom back on. Flip it around. Uh, notice that jack's right there. I put, I'm going to do a, an episode on these, these wireless uh, pickups and transmitters that replace a, uh, a cable. But I just plug it in there, got the other one on my amp, and... All right, and here's the second type that I've made. It's just a cigar box, um, and that's what kind it is if you're interested. But uh, you'll notice that I put do put these door handles on the back here because it gets it up off the floor. Uh, the difference between that one and this one is this one sits flat on the floor, where this one sits up off the floor a little bit because of these handles which gives it a totally different sound but in terms of what's on the inside it's basically the same thing we got a piezo hooked up to a jack all right it's back together plug in the wireless pickup Got some reverb set up on that one but you can tell that this has a lot better sound because it's up off the floor and if it were flat on the floor it would be baffled that works pretty well for me all right let's make one of these quick i went down uh to the junk shop i mean antique shop thrift store uh collector's market whatever you want to call it there's a good one in acton where i live uh, near Santiago and Sierra Highway, but I bought this box. It's a it's an old toolkit, a handy Andy uh, number 800 tool chest. Tools aren't in it anymore, but um, I got ahead of this project by first mod podging this. I don't want this to come off, and then I put a bunch of varnish on it, so it'll look good um, and it will retain its graphic. Now, as usual with my cigar boxes, uh, I always make sure that everything is caulked uh, just so this doesn't come apart. You can see this is a little wobbly. 
uh, but that's all right because I'm going to screw the box together. Um, but this box is ready to go. Okay, for parts, we're going to use two uh, 27 millimeter piezos. We're going to use a 500K potentiometer for a volume control. We're going to use a jack, uh, a pin end jack. We're going to use two of these uh, drawer handles, which are going to be mounted underneath uh, the box up on this end to tilt it up off the floor and some pre-tinned wire. Well, that's it. Okay, so this is the bottom of the box. We're not going to be able to see it, uh, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. It's 240 millimeters wide, which means the middle is 120. So I'm going to mark that and measure that right there. So I'm going to want these handles, they're going to stand up like this, and I want them to be equidistant from the center. So I'm going to come off that center line about 20 millimeters, make a mark there, and one there. And that's where I will line up my handles, like so. Okay, so I've got the marks where I need to drill for my handles, so I'm going to come here and I'm going to end up being about there so I'm going to make a mark for each one of those is like so and then I'll turn this over and give myself the mark and I'm going to drill those four holes out now notice that I'm drilling these holes before I mount my piezos in the inside of the box I certainly don't want to punch through a piezo. All right, bolts are in, handles are on. That lets it sit up off the floor, like so. All right, next I'm gonna open up the box and I'm gonna put a piezo here and one about here. And we're gonna hot glue gun those down here. Now I'm going to put my jack uh, somewhere on the box where it's going to be protected uh, and off the floor along with my volume control. Now this is just as usual hot glue gunning these down. Of course I'm going to cover all the connections, the entire piezo and these wires in hot glue and then I'm going to use this pre tinned uh, wiring and attach it to there and make my other connections. Okay, a couple of things I want to show you. First, we're putting uh, the jack hole here for the for the uh, cable for the pin end jack um, because we really don't want to put it down here because remember this is going to sit at an angle up off the floor. So we'll put that there, and there is for our potentiometer. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of those handles right here too, so the potentiometer and its knob are protected. This will be protected in the same manner down by the lower part of where your foot is and the knob will actually be underneath the handle so there's virtually no way it can get knocked off. Now, as usual we are going to use the sink drain configuration to keep at least the top of the box closed. So what I've done here as is as with a cigar box I've measured how far this is, uh, set that in here and then made sure my sink drain would clear it and then go on here, here, and as well on the bottom so I know exactly where to drill the holes, both for the sink drain with the big Forstner bit and also for the bolt that's going to come up from the bottom to put the wing nut on. All right, there we go. Perfect. And there are the holes for the sink drains from below. All right, I'm going to put a line there. And then I'm going to line this Montana 1981 license plate up. And this is going to strengthen the box for me. So we'll put a few holes in right here like so. So we can bolt this down nice and sturdy. And as I said, I'm going to put a handle right here and it will sit up like this 
the volume control for the potentiometer is going to be right here and it will be underneath this handle so everything will be protected even the pin a jack for our cable will be right there and so everything gets protected with this little handle which is the same as these here there we go there's the camera okay guys before I give you the final rundown on the outside and sound check this thing I want to show you the inside here um, I have an episode called how to wire a piezo and it's the same thing except I have two piezos here wired in parallel meaning they all run to the same controls we've got the potentiometer that's grounded uh, runs to the jack on this lug and then um, runs to the piezos which are wired together on this lug um, and then of course back to the jack which has a, a positive and negative and there is no reason to ground piezos so it's that simple there's there will be a link and an i card popping up right about now on that episode of how to wire a piezo it's the exact same thing i made sure i put a lot of glue on here to keep this tight because we're going to be stomping on this thing okay there we go this thing is held together held closed by rv sink drains uh, normally um, i'm going to put those on and then we'll give you a sound check but these sink drains will give this some sound if you don't have it hooked up to an amp so that's good too okay so let's have a last look before we uh, plug this thing in and see what it does again it's a handy andy a tool chest a kid's tool chest it's kind of funny uh, somebody gave me one of these for Christmas in 1964 we had Christmas at midnight the adults woke up one morning Christmas morning to find me already at work on my grandma's kitchen table with the saw that came in the kit and believe it or not i never saw that kit again imagine that anyway so that's why i like this box i put a couple of uh kitchen drawer posts on here and then um, i also used one of those there to protect the volume control so this will be up at your feet when you're stomping on it got the jack there this sticks out further than the jack so even if you drop it everything's going to be fine i got the montana license plate and the sink drains okay now same as before we're going to use the oath or turner style a drum beater turn it up a little bit so it's on the amp all right speaking of oath or turner check this out this is a fife made by Charday Thomas who is Oether Turner's granddaughter you know what I think I'm going to make a video on how to um, make one of these in the future would you like that let me know so anyway that's it uh, really an hour project if you have the right stuff uh, especially with uh, the wireless pickup and a battery operated amp this is something that works good for the street that's something else I need to do an episode about I think so here it is that was pretty simple you can make a stomp box out of a cigar box a wine box just about any box it's a little bit bigger than your foot um, when you make one uh, take a picture of it and share it with us so we can see your work and and uh, your ideas so um, what else I want to talk to you about oh how you like my uh, hat I bet you can't tell me who uh, went to work for New York Central Railroad for a while while they disappeared from the world for about 35 40 years and then reappeared tell me that when you send me an email but anyway let's close this out by uh, remember the subscribe button is in the middle of the round one I've got playlists that show about 30 videos on how to do different aspects of cigar box guitar building and now I've got another playlist that's popping up with all the weird coffee can stomp box build a guitar out of a board who knows what anyway i appreciate your support of my channel and i'll see you soon